Pre-calculus ACP review fall 2015. This is problem six. A car costing $25,000 declines in value to $15,000 according to a standard exponential decline function. If the annual depreciation rate is 20%, how many years will it take for the car to reach that value? And that value of $15,000. Well, our basic equation, our exponential equation, is the amount is equal to the principal times 1 plus r to the power of t. And in this case, we have a depreciation, and so r is going to be equal to negative 20%, which is going to be negative 0.2. And so filling in principal, our starting amount, and really our final amount is, is what we're really interested in, and our final amount is $25,000 equals our starting amount, which is uh, actually, I have that vice versa. Our final amount is $15,000. That's what we're targeting. Equals to our starting amount, which is $25,000 times 1 plus R. Well, 1 plus negative 2 is 0.8, and that's to the power of T. Now we can go ahead and, and divide by 25,000 and then take the logarithm and, and, and get it this way. What I would recommend for doing something like this is a feature on the PI Inspire CX calculator called Numerical Solve. And what that will do is make quick work out of this thing. I'd, I'd like every one of my students to be able to solve this without uh, using the calculator, at least for the end solve portion. But this can just make quick work out of this problem. To do this, numerical solve, press menu, algebra, and enter for numerical solve. And we just enter the equation, 15,000, and then the equal sign here on the left equals 25,000 times 0.8 to the power of our variable, which we'll call x, and then we come over and put comma x. And we double check to make sure everything's right. Press enter. We get uh, 2.289 years. So it should round up to 2.29 year or 2.3 years. Let's go ahead and check our answer choices. So we get 2.3 years. Our answer choice is C. And we've done this so quickly that we've, we've taken less than a minute. We leave a lot more time to work on our sticky problems. I encourage you to look out problems uh, 6A and 6B as supplements to this problem. Good luck. Thanks.